We turn now to ABC's Matt Gutman, who tells us that even in the midst of a devastating storm, life goes on. For the Weeks family, the hurricane came a precious few days before another arrival. You are pregnant and you're going to have a repeat ski section with a crew. After being forced to evacuate their home in Port Aransas, Texas, five days ago, Danielle and William if you can open that door, that would be great. are ready for a long-awaited procedure. Let's go have a baby. We first met them on Friday. Danielle was nine months pregnant. Like tens of thousands of residents that night, she was rattled. But we're just hoping for the best. And what about your home? Yeah. We, uh, we actually live in an RV. We're pretty worried that we won't have a home to go back to. By Saturday, it was safe to go outside. So the weeks piled into their truck, determined to find out what happened to their home. I'm trying to check on our home. We've got an active search and rescue going on right now. Okay. So no one's allowed in until after we get that taken care of. News that the weeks cannot go home to see if they even have a home is an emotional gut punch. One that has everyone in tears. <laughs> So we're going to go check this out for you. Yes. And you're okay with that? Yes. But authorities would allow us, as members of the press, pass that roadblock to see the mind-numbing wreckage. Oh, my God. That's the trailer park. Every trailer gutted, ripped open, contents strewn on the soggy turf. It took a few minutes, but eventually we found the week's home, or at least what was left of it. This is the worst they could have hoped for. Later, Danielle and William asked us to show them the video. You're okay to see this? Okay. <sighs> the worst part is seeing all my kids stuff on the ground. No. <laughs> the closer they looked, the sharper the pain. There's a musical toy right there, and that was in the house. That's the baby's blanket that I was making for. Her. But this morning. Oh, <laughs> oh, she is. A little jolt of joy. Laura Lynn Weeks, born seven pounds, 12 ounces, and 20 and a half inches tall. Oh my God, Laura, she's beautiful. She's swaddled and snoozing. They got her out and instantly started crying. It was, it was a great moment. Best cry you ever heard, huh? Yes, yes. She's definitely got some lungs on her, though. <laughs> Still pale and in pain from the C-section, Danielle says the family will hard. return to Port Aransas the place they live is still surrounded by loss and destruction, but this time they'll go back with something even more precious in their arms. You guys have, have weathered the worst nightmare. Mm -hmm. But now you have this. Yes. What's that like? It's definitely the blessing that came out of everything. She made it safe. She held through the storm. She's a blessing. She is. I'm Matt Gutman in Corpus Christi, Texas. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.